In this video, we're going to add fans to the PCB enclosure housing. For this exercise, we're only going to focus on creating the housing of the fans and not the fan blades or the motors. The dimensions for the fan housing can be found on sheet 4 of the technical drawing. The general shape of the fan housing is a square body. We can begin by creating the solid block. We'll need to be clever to create the front and back faces of the fan housing. First, we should create the four cutout areas that pass through the entire block. We can then pull a circular profile to remove the material between the front and back faces and create the space required for the fan itself. The next items to add are the rounded corners and mounting holes. Once these have been placed, we'll remove excess material using the shell tool. The last feature will be the chamfer applied to the outer edges of the main cylinder. For simplicity, we will create the fan housing in a new file and then import it into the PCB assembly. Open a new file and go to the model stage. Using the default sketching grid created on the XY plane, click the rectangle sketch tool and select draw from center. Sketch a square that's 80 millimeters by 80 millimeters. Start the pull tool and extrude the profile 20 millimeters. Click the circle sketch tool and sketch a circle 70 millimeters in diameter in the center of the top face. Sketch a second concentric circle 30 millimeters in diameter. Sketch lines from the center point to each corner of the square face. You can double click at the end of a line segment to begin a new segment elsewhere. Select the Offset Curve tool and enable the option Offset Both Ways. Offset each of the lines by 2.5 millimeters. The total width between the new offset lines should be 5 mm. Use the Trim Away tool to eliminate all line segments beyond the 70 mm circle and within the 30 mm circle, including the portions of the circle perimeters within the 5 mm offset lines. Refer to Sheet 4 of the technical drawing to see how the fan should look. Pull the four profiles all the way through the block to cut the material. Create a sketch plane on the front face of the fan. Then use the Move Grid button to offset the sketch grid negative 2.5 millimeters in the Z direction. Sketch a 70 millimeter circle in the center of the face. Start the pull tool and pull this circular profile negative 15 millimeters. The remaining faces at the front and back of the fan should each be 2.5 millimeters thick. Create a new sketch on the front face of the fan. Click the circle sketch tool and place a 5 millimeter diameter circle with the center 6 millimeters from the top edge and 6 millimeters from the left edge. Pull this circular profile through the entire fan body to cut a hole. Use a circular pattern to place a hole at each corner. Select an edge of the 70 millimeter hole to define the axis to pattern about. Activate the pull tool and select one of the outside corners of the fan housing. Then. In the Advanced Selection panel, use Power Select and choose edges with same length and same orientation to
to select all the corners at once. Add a 2.5 millimeter radius to them. Press S and close the advanced selection panel. Now that we've defined the primary features of the fan housing, we can perform an operation to remove excess material. For this operation, we'll use the shell tool. The shell tool can be used to remove material from within a body. The most basic application of the shell tool is to create a fully enclosed hollow body, but the shell tool can also remove selected faces, providing an opening to the interior of the body. We're going to use the shell tool to give the fan a uniform thickness and reduce the amount of material required to make the fan housing. We're going to be removing the faces from the top, bottom, left, and right. Click the shell tool and move the mouse cursor over any side face of the fan. Click each of the side faces on the fan housing. Now type in 2.5 millimeters to set the thickness for the shell operation. You should now be able to see the cylinders that define the outside of the holes and the location of the fan. The last feature that remains to be added is the chamfer on the edge of the 70 millimeter hole. Click the Advanced Selection tab. Then select one of the arc edges on the 70 millimeter hole. The selection tool should present you with several criteria. Click Edges with Same Length. The edges of all eight arcs should now be selected. Start the Pull tool and select the Chamfer option from the Options panel on the HUD. Enter a value of 2.5, then press Enter. The fan housing is now complete. Save the file 